Ever thought about starting your own food truck business? Picture this. You, as the captain of your culinary ship, steering towards delicious success. It's the perfect blend of your entrepreneurial spirit and passion for food. Well, if you have, you're in the right place. Before you even start thinking about trucks, you need to decide what's on the menu. The heart of any food truck business is, well, the food. So let's talk about crafting a menu that will set your food truck apart from the rest. It's not just about making delicious dishes, although that's certainly a big part of it. It's about making the right delicious dishes. First off, you need to decide on the type of cuisine you want to offer. Do you want to serve up spicy Mexican delights? Or perhaps you're more inclined towards a gourmet burger joint on wheels. Maybe you're a sushi savant or a pizza prodigy. Whatever it is, make sure it's something you're passionate about, because you'll be eating, sleeping and breathing this cuisine for a while. Now you've got your cuisine but what about your menu? It's time to get creative. It's essential to strike a balance between variety and focus. A menu that's too broad can be difficult to manage and may confuse your customers. On the other hand, a menu that's too narrow might not appeal to a wide enough audience. So it's about finding that sweet spot where your menu offers enough variety to be intriguing, but not so much that it becomes overwhelming. Next, do your homework. Research your competition. What are they serving? What's popular? What's not? Use this information to your advantage. Identify gaps in the market and find your unique selling point. This could be a signature dish, a unique cooking technique, or even a special ingredient. And last but definitely not least, test your recipes. Cook for your friends, family, and anyone else who would be willing to give you honest feedback. Remember, the best way to a person's heart is through their stomach, so make sure your food is something to rave about. Remember, your menu is the heart of your business, so make it count. Now that you've got your menu, it's time to talk about the not-so-fun part. Finances. Indeed, the road to food truck glory is paved with a whole bunch of receipts, and you'll need to be prepared for that. First things first, you'll need your ride, your food truck. Depending on the size and condition, a food truck can cost anywhere from $10,000 to $40,000. It's a hefty sum but remember, that's your kitchen and your billboard all in one. Next up, you'll need to equip that kitchen on wheels with everything you need to whip up your culinary creations. We're talking grills, fryers, fridges, the works. This can run you another $5,000 to $15,000. Of course, you can't just park your truck anywhere and start slinging tacos. You'll need permits and licenses, and these can cost anywhere from a few hundred to several thousand dollars, depending on where you plan to operate. Then, there are your ongoing costs, like ingredients, fuel, maintenance, and insurance. These can add up to a few thousand dollars per month. So, all in, you're looking at an initial investment of somewhere between $15,000 and $50,000 to get your food truck business off the ground, but don't let these numbers scare you. There are several strategies to raise this capital. You can apply for a business loan, seek out investors, or even crowdfund venture. You could also consider buying a used food truck or leasing your equipment to cut down on costs. And remember, while it's crucial to keep your costs in check, it's equally important to focus on the quality of your product. After all, it's your delicious food that will keep customers coming back and your cash register ringing. Starting a food truck business isn't cheap, but with careful planning, it's definitely doable. You've got your menu, you've got your money, now it's time to get your truck. Yes, my friends, it's time to find your four-wheel dream machine, the one that will take your culinary creations to the masses. But where do you start? Well, you've got two main options. You can buy a truck or you can lease one. Each has its own advantages. Buying gets you complete control and ownership and you can customize to your heart's content. Leasing on the other hand can be a more flexible and less financially burdensome way to get rolling. It's all about what suits your business model and budget best. Now, when you're on the hunt for the perfect food truck, there are a few key things to keep in mind. First of all, size matters. You want enough space to comfortably prepare your food, but not so much that you're driving around a behemoth. Next, consider the kitchen setup. You want it to match your menu. If you're flipping burgers, you need a good griddle. Serving up soup? Make sure there's a stove. And don't forget about storage for ingredients and supplies. Also, be aware of potential issues. Check the truck's mileage, maintenance records, and any signs of wear and tear. A food truck is a big investment, so you don't want any unpleasant surprises down the line. So where can you find these mobile kitchens for sale? There are plenty of online platforms and specialist dealerships. But don't discount word of mouth. Reach out to other food truck owners, they might know of a good deal or two. 
Remember this is more than just a vehicle, it's your kitchen, your office, your billboard, all rolled into one. It's the heart and soul of your mobile food business. So take your time, do your research, and find the truck that fits your vision. Your truck is your mobile kitchen so choose wisely. With your truck sorted, let's tackle the paperwork. Now we all know that paperwork might not be the most exciting part of launching your food truck venture, but it's an essential step we simply can't skip. It's like baking a cake without preheating the oven. You just can't do it. So, let's get into it. The first thing you'll need is a business license. This is your golden ticket that allows you to legally operate your food truck. It's like getting permission from the city hall to sell your lip-smacking delicacies on wheels. Next, you'll want to secure a food handler's permit. This is a certification that proves you know your way around food safety. It's like your badge of honor that tells your customers, Hey, I know how to handle your food without giving you a surprise trip to the hospital. Now to the big one, the health department permit. This one's a bit like passing your driver's test. The health department will inspect your truck to ensure it meets all the necessary health and safety standards. It's a bit nerve-wracking, sure, but once you pass, you'll be on cloud nine. And then there's the sales tax permit. This one's pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to collect sales tax on your yummy offerings. It's like your ticket to the tax man's good books. Applying for these permits and licenses might seem daunting, but don't fret. Take one step at a time. Start with gathering all the necessary documents, then fill out the forms meticulously, and finally submit them well before your planned launch date. And remember, when in doubt, don't hesitate to ask. Reach out to your local city or county office or even seek advice from fellow food truck entrepreneurs. Remember, this isn't just paperwork, it's the foundation of your food truck empire. It's what keeps your dream on the right side of the law. It may be a headache, but it's a necessary part of the process, so stick with it. You've got your menu, money, truck, and permits, now it's time to hit the road. In the food truck business, location is everything. Picture the ideal spot where your food truck will thrive. Is it a bustling city center during lunch hour or a lively park during a weekend festival? Focus on high foot traffic areas to maximize visibility and sales. Remember the early bird gets the worm, so scout locations ahead of time and arrive early to secure your spot. Timing is equally crucial. Align your operating hours with the peak times of your chosen location. Serving breakfast burritos? Be there bright and early. Got a killer late night snack? Park near nightlife hotspots. It's all about being at the right place at the right time. Now let's talk about luring in those customers. Start by creating a strong brand. Your food truck itself is a moving billboard so make sure it's visually appealing and clearly communicates what you're serving. And don't forget about the power of social media. Regularly, update your followers about your location, special offers, and mouthwatering photos of your food. Engage with the community, participate in local events or partner with local businesses. Offer promotions and incentives to keep customers coming back. Above all, provide excellent service and food that makes people say, wow. Word of mouth is a powerful tool, and happy customers are your best advertisers. Remember, the food truck industry is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It requires patience, dedication, and a lot of elbow grease. But with the right strategy and a passion for what you do, you can cook up a storm of success. With careful planning and a lot of hard work, your food truck business can be a success. That's a basic rundown of starting a food truck business. From cooking up an idea, securing finances, picking the perfect truck, to navigating paperwork and finally serving up success. Your food truck dream awaits, so take that first step. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more content like this. Until next time, keep mastering your money.